Namaste, Namaskar, greetings to everyone. Today, December 18th, it's a very important day for us because we want to celebrate Venerable Sankamita's Day. And it has now become International Pikuni Day. Let me tell you about the, the painting we have in our temple. Our temple is Songtam Kalayani Pikuni Arama in Thailand. We have this beautiful painting and I would like to share with you. Please have a look. This painting originally was from Belan Villa Temple in Colombo, Sri Lanka. The artist who did this painting was Sri Lankan, but he, was, he studied in Shantiniketan. And the second painting came from the first one, but this is done by a Thai artist, also studied from Shantiniketan. This is by accident. And uh, when you take a close look at it, you will find the difference. The second painting, which is in our Pikuni Arama, uh, with the Sankamita Theri in, in the center, and you see the aura. The aura represents that she is enlightened. And uh, she's surrounded. She is surrounded by 10 Pikunis. This is something different from the original one. It is very important to make a statement that she was surrounded by 10 Pikunis because this is according to Deepavangsa, the oldest chronicle from Sri Lanka, uh, mentioned about the, the, uh, this group, this group of Pikuni who actually accompany the noble Sankamita to Sri Lanka. Now, the next one that I would like to share with you is a sculpture. A sculpture, I did it myself. Uh, maybe the year was 2004 when I was newly ordained. I was very impressed with Venerable Sankamita because at the time when I was ordained, very interesting, uh, well, after I shaved, Venerable Dhammaloga, who actually organized my ordination, at that time it was still ordination for the seminary, my first lower ordination, he asked me to hoist the flag. Thai flag. There were three flags, one Buddhist flag, second one was Sri Lankan flag, and I was to hoist the third one, Thai flag. So I asked him, I didn't know that, you know, uh, in ordination uh, you, you need to hoist the flag. He said that I am now taking uh, the lineage of Pikunis from Sri Lanka to Thailand. Venerable Sankamita was the first one to actually brought Pikuni Sangha from India to Sri Lanka. And now, that year when I was ordained, 2001, I was taking back the lineage from Venerable Sankamita Terry established in Sri Lanka back to Thailand. So I was hoisting the flag. Then later on when I came back, when I came back, soon after my full ordination, I started sculpturing. And in one of my sculpture, I made a sculpture of Venerable Sankamita Terry. Please have a look at her face, very, very serene, very peaceful. The clay which I worked with is uh, partly from Pakrit. Pakrit is known for pottery. The clay dried very quickly and then I mixed it with clay from Chiang Mai which dries slower. I mixed the two together and I made this sculpture. Uh, you can see the expression on her face, very serene, very calm. This is uh, a message symbolizing that we as Pikunis in this present era, emerging again from the history, trying our best to establish the lineage which was planted in Sri Lankan soil a long time ago in the 3rd century BE. We have to be grateful to Venerable Sankamita for her, how to say, hard work, endurance. She gave up her, her life in order to establish the Pikuni Sangha in Sri Lanka. So today we need to be thinking about her, honoring her. The best kind of honor is to follow her footstep of being serene, being peaceful. Serene and peaceful peaceful but active. So therefore, we come together at, as this United Theravada Pikuni Sangha International. We 
from different countries come together under the guidance of Venerable Pante Sivali of Mahabodhi Society of India. We are now launching this new, how to say, new organization, which is now called United Theravada Pikuni Sangha International, to pay respect, to pay homage to Venerable Sankamita Theri, who started the lineage. Thank you.